Uh, so live boxing to come for you, but a little earlier than we normally do. Uh, at five, nearly five to six this morning, it's time for the news. Good morning, Naga. Weren't we sort of uh, ten minutes ago? Um, it's now 45-42 Australia lead, so that's at the end of the second quarter. So still time for Team USA to uh, catch up on the Aussies. That's the semi-final. Uh, we're going to show you some boxing here on BBC One. That does continue, though, over on the red button and the BBC iPlayer if you want to continue to watch that live basketball men's semi-final this morning. Yes, but here on BBC One, we've got that boxing. Wedge in uh, and tidy up some of the overnight session in the athletics. Overnight for us, morning session, of course, in Tokyo. Uh, one thing we haven't showed you yet is what happened in the shot put and also the triple jump. So let's uh, see exactly what happened there. Steve Backley is your commentator. There you go, another goal for Ryan Krauser. When you, you start filming your question of sports soon, don't you? Yeah, right. very soon. Th this will be a question, I'm sure, at some stage. Lock it away. If you're ever in a pub quiz, this could help. That is actually the first time in athletics history in the Olympics that there's been an exact repeat of a podium in an event in the shot put. So first for Ryan Krauser, second for Joe Kovacs of the USA and New Zealand's uh, Thomas Walsh taking the bronze medal. So it happened again in Rio. It's exactly the same That's podium five years later. And how heavy is a shot put? Put? I don't ball? know. <laughs> shot, is it shot a ball? Put, put. A shot put? A shot. A shot. A shot. How call. heavy is a shot? I don't know. How heavy is a shot? Seven kilograms. There you uh, go. There you go. Quiz. And uh, just to tidy okay. up the triple jump as well, <laughs> learning so much this morning. Uh, Pedro Pichardo, that jump that we saw described by Steve Backley, was uh, long enough uh, to secure Portugal the gold medal in the triple jump. And we're going to go through quite a bit of that overnight athletics with Colin Jackson, who's going to talk about what happened in the 4x100 for uh, the women and the men and also pick out uh, the latest few events in the heptathlon as well. So lots to discuss. And the 110 hurdles as well. The gold went in that event this morning as well. So all to come with Colin Jackson. But first, here are your Olympic... Well, weren't we, sort of uh, ten minutes ago? Um, it's now 45-42 Australia lead. So that's at the end of the second quarter. So still time for Team USA to uh, catch up on the Aussies. That's the semi-final. Uh, we're going to show you some boxing here on BBC One. That does continue, though, over on the red button and the BBC iPlayer if you want to continue to watch that live basketball men's semi-final this morning. Yes, but here on BBC One, we've got that boxing... Brilliant stuff. What a fight to a fight. start a Thursday morning. And uh, as Ron was saying there, the 8th of August, which is Sunday, Kelly Harrington will be going for gold, fighting for gold. Um, uh, uh, hopefully, uh, John Watson is at the boxing um, and uh, he's got Kelly with him. We can, what, rather than listen... That's well, I absolutely love that. Brilliant interview. <laughs> proper heart-on-sleeve stuff, isn't it? And she's proper made up. It was interesting to see she sort of slowly regained her composure during the course of the interview. Mm -hmm. I suppose that, I mean, I've never been in that position. You have. It's just that the, the, does it, sometimes the, just the emotional wave just hits you and all that effort that's gone into getting you to that point. Yeah, she hit the nail on the head when she said, you think about it, you train for it and you dream of it. But when you actually get to an Olympic final, it's mm. a bit surreal. And then, you know, fingers crossed she goes on to win the gold. Then that moment you think, has it actually just <laughs> happened? And then for me, it didn't really kick in probably until about two weeks being home that I actually realised what, what the team and what we'd all achieved was. Well, she will. Uh, she needs to get her head together because she's fighting on Sunday for a gold medal. And actually, Ireland's only other gold in these games came in the rowing uh, a few days ago. You might remember that in the lightweight double skulls. Paul O'Donovan and Finton McCarthy getting the gold there. Uh, can Kelly Harrington follow them? And, she, I mean, she, imagine returning to Ireland with a gold medal in the Brilliant. box. It would be unbelievable. I, I hope they it? get a camera that, um, <laughs> at Mum and Dad's as well because the way she was describing it, you could just imagine what they'd be like when she said for them sat in the garden. It's going to be incredible. Uh, let's tell you what's happening. Drop the pen, Sam. Sorry about that. It's an important piece of equipment, that. Yeah, very <laughs> crucial. <laughs> uh, let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? Yes, go on then. OK, so we're going to go to Japanning for gold. Okay, so this is essentially where we look for the little nuggets uh, that you might not have seen in the Olympics. And if you were up early this morning, you might have seen the skateboarding, the men's final in the skateboarding. And uh, we, we spotted this from Kieran Woolley. This is why you need to be Kieran Woolley's... Uh, countryman uh, Keegan Palmer who went on to win the gold with an incredible uh, run I think are we going to update the are we, oh no, but are we going to update the skateboarding a bit later on that's, what, that's my question we're going to show that again we'll, we'll show you what happened a little bit later on but it was an amazing gold medal winning performance and it also produced I think the best line of commentary oh, that we've on. seen at these games yes. where uh, Ed Lee said uh, that was looser than a rental bowling shoe 
Uh, that, is, that, that is skateboard is the only sport you can get that sort of commentary. It'd be sweatier in. than a, yeah. <laughs> a rented ball. It, it worked. It worked perfectly though. It's a, it's been a brilliant addition to the Olympics. I think a lot of people were in the position yesterday, weren't they, where they were like, "Oh, I'm not sure whether skateboarding is going to work in the Olympics." And then watching uh, not only the street event last week but the park event as well, and you're like, "Okay." This is, this is this works, it's got a place, and I think it's going to be a big hit in um, Paris in a couple of years' time as well. Uh, Sam, we need to update our middle we do. Paper, don't we? We do.